Hi, I'm David Bennett. I'm director of the Rush Alzheimer's Disease Center. I'm a neurologist. We've been around for over 35 years. All right, we are the largest research enterprise within Rush University Medical Center. We're working in the neuroscience space of aging and dementia, and we contribute very much to the number four ranking of the neuroscience program at Rush in the United States. We are interested not just in learning to treat people with dementia better, but we're learning mostly how to prevent it. And we don't find dementia in our clinic. We have to go into the community. We enroll thousands of people, diverse people, in the community. We test them every year. And what's unique about our studies is not only have they been ongoing for more than three decades, but that in some of our studies, everyone is an organ donor, meaning brain, spinal cord, nerve, and muscle, to do very, very unique studies of aging and dementia. And financial support through philanthropy has made huge progress. It's allowed us to invest long-term in programs, right, and set up programs long-term that would have payoffs that would go on for decades to come. The biospecimens that we collect with the clinical data are so unique, they are shared with investigators from around the world. At the Alzheimer's Disease Center, um, uh, we have all kinds of research, uh, epidemiologic research studies, and we could not do any of it without our participants. And our participants, we find them in continuing care retirement centers, in convents and monasteries, um, and, and just in their homes. We have uh, five different cohorts. We wanted to look at what normal aging was like um, over the age of 65, so we looked at uh, different populations. We want to get more specific about what it was like to be of different races and ethnicities across the aging spectrum. So we decided to look at specifically African American populations as well as Latino populations. Ultimately we would want to know whether the participants will develop Alzheimer's or not. Some of our cohorts um, have automatically, when they sign up, they agree to donate their brains to us. If study participants have agreed to organ donation, upon their death, their legacy will soon reside in the laboratories of the Rush Alzheimer's Disease Center. The RADC has a rapid autopsy service that is available 24-7, ensuring that the participant's donation occurs without delay. Brain, spinal cord, and other tissue and biopsies are collected depending on the participant's study enrollment and wishes. The biospecimens are then transported to our laboratory. The first stop is the gross room. Here, a brain is being dissected at a specialized workstation. It is then photographed. At a later date, a neuropathologist can review the photos for abnormalities. The RADC has access to Russia's 3,600 square foot freezer farm, a core facility. The freezer farm is divided into two spaces, half shared by multiple investigators at Rush and half dedicated to the RADC. The center has 83 ultra-low freezers, refrigerators, and liquid nitrogen tanks that contain brain, spinal cord, serum, DNA, and other biospecimens. Every year, we fill two ultra-low freezers and just over one and a half refrigerators with newly collected biospecimens. To keep organized, we use software called FreezerWorks, which allows us to easily track sample availability, storage position, usage, and distribution to investigators. Every brain is reviewed by a neuropathologist for gross pathology, that is, abnormalities visible to the naked eye. This brain has been cut into one centimeter thick slabs and is ready to be reviewed. The slabs are evaluated for signs of atrophy, or shrinking of the brain, signs of a stroke, hemorrhages, and rarely, tumors. Then we collect samples from 46 specific brain regions, in addition to any areas of gross pathology for microscopic analysis. Although chemically preserved tissue is routinely used for microscopic analysis, frozen tissue is required for biomolecular study. While some of these studies are performed by internal RADC investigators, many biospecimen samples are distributed for study by international researchers around the world. Between 12,000 and 15,000 samples are sent to around 60 investigators annually.
Investigators like Dr. Philip de Jaeger at Columbia University Irving Medical Center. I've been collaborating with Dr. Bennett and the Russia Alzheimer's Disease Center for over a decade. One of my main interests is trying to understand how the immune system is involved in neurological disease. We will have treatments for Alzheimer's disease sometime in the next 10 years. Uh, I think it's probably going to be well before that, but again, exactly when it's hard to predict, but they, they are coming. Again, a, a big reason they are will be because uh, of the, the impact of collections of samples like the one at Rush University. Most epidemiological studies have some common elements. In longitudinal studies, one of these elements is that each participant is annually tested, which includes drawing a blood sample. A team of phlebotomists draw and transport blood samples to the laboratory, where they are processed and then stored. In this area, brain tissue is processed through a series of alcohol solutions of increasing concentrations, xylene and paraffin wax. After infiltration, the tissue is embedded and placed in molds with paraffin and carefully oriented. The paraffin wax supports the soft tissue so that it can be finely sliced. Next, a machine called a microtome is used to cut the paraffin tissue block in very thin sections. The six micron thin tissue sections are placed on a glass slide and left to dry overnight so that they are ready to be stained the next day. In order to determine features of age-related brain diseases causing dementia, tissue sections must be stained to enhance visualization of the cells under a microscope. 30 slides at a time can be placed into this auto stainer, which applies different dyes with antibodies matching specific cell types. Stained tissue is then evaluated microscopically to make a diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease, as well as cerebrovascular disease, Parkinson's disease, and other types of dementia, such as dementia with Lewy body disease. Multiple stained slides are then placed in an aperio system, which enables high-speed scanning of whole slide images. This enables the creation of a large-scale digital repository of whole slide images, offering the opportunity for unlimited distribution for research studies by multiple centers and institutions. When it comes to investigating the genetic and molecular components of Alzheimer's disease, the center uses next-generation sequencing, a process that enables researchers to perform a wide variety of tasks at a level never before thought possible. Amazingly fast and sophisticated robotic systems are used to extract DNA and RNA and to construct sequencing libraries from tissue samples donated by our participants. The samples are sequenced on a NovaSeq 6000, capable of generating 20 billion sequencing reads and six terabytes of data in 48 hours. A team of bioinformaticians processes these data, which are made available to researchers outside the center as part of the resource sharing hub. The center also has a human cell modeling group that studies what is called Alzheimer's in a dish. Cells are grown from donated tissues and are turned into pluripotent or master cells, which can be transformed into specific brain cells that are affected by Alzheimer's disease. The disease is literally being created in a laboratory dish in order to be studied. When culturing these cells in the laboratory, they can be manipulated using gene editing techniques such as CRISPR to investigate the molecular basis of the disease and to discover novel therapeutic targets. The work of the Rush Alzheimer's Disease Center comes full circle at the Rush Memory Clinic, which serves to help individuals affected by cognitive issues or who are seeking a second opinion. A team of neurologists, psychologists, and geriatricians collaborate with nurse practitioners and research assistants to complete a full cognitive and neurological assessment. With this in hand, they can provide patients and their families with a care plan based on the latest research. The Rush Alzheimer's Disease Center understands the physical and emotional toll that dementia takes on patients and families. With your help, we can discover better ways to diagnose, treat, and prevent Alzheimer's disease and other dementias.